Hey everybody, Matumbo here. Welcome back to the channel. And today we are playing some more Historic here on Magic Arena. And today I've had a request to revisit a deck from a long, long time ago that we've actually done two previous versions of. So I'm pretty excited to be looking at this deck again. But before we hop right into today's deck, I do want to remind everybody that if you enjoy the channel, the video, the gameplay, anything like that, please like, comment, subscribe. Check out all the cool links down below, especially joining the Discord. And again, if you don't follow me over on Twitch, I do stream on the weekends over at twitch.tv slash BA Matumbo. Again, we do a lot of streaming on the weekends. We play Magic. We are building decks during our stream. And that is what we get the gameplay from for our most uh, recent videos. So if you want to be a part of that and uh, help decide what we're playing and potentially have a say in the next video, please go over there and follow. But with that being said, let's hop right into today's deck. And we are playing Ozilich version 3. And again, this is a pretty synergistic deck. We're trying to really take advantage of Ozolith, but not in a typical uh, counter you know, way that a maybe a green deck or a straight artifact deck would be playing. But uh, Ozolith is a one-mana artifact that says whenever a creature you control leaves the battlefield, if it had counters on it, Put those counters on the Ozolith, and then at the beginning of combat on your turn, if Ozolith has counters on it, you get to move those counters from Ozolith onto target creature. So the idea behind this is to have an Ozolith in play and play Phylactery Lich. Lich is a 3-3, three, three, uh, I'm sorry, it's a 3-mana 5-5 five, five with Indestructible, but it does have a downside, and it says whenever it enters the battle enters the battlefield you do have to put a phylactery counter on an artifact you control mainly um, we're looking at uh, the ozolith and whenever you control no permanence with those counters on them you have to sacrifice phylactery lich so we want to put the counter on ozolith but um, we need a way to get obviously the counter onto something else because if the counter is just on ozolith it's going to be really easy to deal with right they can bounce the ozolith um, they can destroy it with any kind of artifact removal. But if we are able to move um, the counter just by going to our combat step, we're going to move that counter back onto the Phylactery Lich, and then Phylactery Lich is going to be a 5-5 indestructible. We're not going to have to worry about it dying other than you know things that exile or bounce. But right now, the historic meta, or at least what I'm running into, doesn't really do that a whole lot. So we are just looking to play a 3-3 three, three, uh, or 3-mana five, 5-5 five, five indestructible creature and just kind of get in there every turn and just kill our opponent. Uh, other ways that we are able to really take advantage of Ozolith is going to be Mecha Godzilla or um, the uh, boring name is Crystalline Giant. But uh, this is a really cool card, 3-mana three 3-3. Three, three. At the beginning of combat on your turn, you're going to get to put a counter on any of the uh, a counter on this, but it's going to be a random counter based off of whether it's flying, first strike, death touch, hex, hexproof, lifelink, menace, reach, trample, vigilance, plus one, plus one. So every turn, it's going to it's going to get one of those counters that it hasn't chosen yet, and this thing is going to grow potentially into a four four with um, infinite abilities essentially. And if they happen to get rid of the um, the Mecha Godzilla in any form or fashion, all those counters are going to go into the Ozolith, and then the Ozolith is going to put all those counters onto the Phylactery Lich or one of our other creatures, and we're just going to destroy our opponent. We're also playing Dreadhorde Invasion. This is going to be a fun card, uh, a really fun card to play around because of the fact that we get to amass every turn. Yes, we do lose a life, but uh, amass does deal in 1-1 counters, so if they get rid of our, our uh, army tokens, we get to put those plus one, plus one counters on Ozolith, and then again, we get to move stuff around. Now, uh, Phyrexian Obliterator is a really sweet card. A lot of decks just can't deal with this, right? Because a lot of decks um, in Historic right now are, are Burn, um, you know, in any form or fashion, whether it's Mono Red, uh, the Red Blue Wizard deck that's uh, Aggro, Hammer Time, uh, anything like that. If this takes damage, that Sorceress Controller has to sacrifice that many permanents. So we're, again, going to just worry about playing essentially like a mono black devotion deck but in reality we're playing ozolith and we're just going to have this in here as a finisher right because we're playing a whole bunch of five fives that our opponent cannot deal with now with the addition of all these sets that i've missed right we all know the one ring is just dominating every format so we've got we had to put it in here we've got three copies of this we're not really going to go into this everybody knows what the uh one ring does if not it is just a busted card. But 
what I really wanted to try out is going to be Phyrexian Metamorph. Phyrexian Metamorph is a four mana uh, clone, essentially. But it get, when it comes into play, you get to choose either a creature or an artifact when it comes into play. So we get to potentially clone our Phylactery Liches. We get to clone our uh, Mecha Godzillas. We get to clone our Obliterators. But what one thing we can do, and one thing that this actually does give us the option to do, is to copy the one ring. So yes, it's still going to legend rule itself, and um, it'll you know we'll have to pick one to sacrifice. But this is being cast from our hand, so this is essentially letting us play six copies of the ring if we need to to potentially stall the board, uh, draw a whole bunch of cards, give our you know give ourselves protection from everything, and hopefully win the game in that in that uh, form or fashion. Um, just the other cards to round this out. We're playing Stone Coil Serpent again. This is gonna, you know, an X. It's an X spell with plus one plus one counters. We get to move those. It's got Reach, Trample, Protection for Multicolor. This is a really busted card. At least it used to be back in the day. But again, trying to look at, um, you know, moving one one counters on the Ozolith. We are playing Phyrexian Scriptures. This again, we get to put a plus one plus one counter on a creature, and it becomes an artifact. Also. Then on chapter two, we get to destroy all non-artifact creatures. And then chapter three is garbage. We don't even have to worry about that. But there are some graveyard decks out there. So yeah, we do get to potentially exile opponents' graveyards. But if we're relying on getting to chapter three on Phyrexian Scriptures to exile a graveyard, we're probably going to lose that game anyway. Uh, other than that, um, we're rounding the deck out with one copy of Shadow Spear uh, in order to just lifelink trample and remove hex hexproof and indestructible. We are running four copies of thought seas and then i had a couple of extra slots in the deck so we put in two copies of legions and again this is because i'm playing that stupid red blue wizard deck i swear like every other game and i really needed a way to uh potentially just you know crush our opponent sometimes they draw you know multiples of the uh zero three uh uh, blue wizard that makes something base power three so um i really just wanted a way to to get rid of that deck specifically so we put those in there uh, again this is the deck we're playing a few non-basic lands but mainly everything makes black because of the fact we are playing mono black phyrexian obliterated really you know obviously want to have four black mana here but yeah this is the deck i know that was a little uh, drawn out but again we played this deck on stream over the weekend last weekend had a lot of fun um, so let's hop right into the gameplay, and we will see you all at the wrap-up. All right. <laughs> this is this person's name, Net Deck Master. Um, oh, this is one of these hands, right? Um, I'm, I'm for it. Let's give it a shot. Right, not not every not every hand can be a perfect hand. Okay, I don't I don't mind killing the heck out of this. What do you got? Kiln fiend. Yep, 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 yep. Um, all right, let's do it to it. Give me some first strike. What is that? Trample. Sorcery, sorcery, instant gains double strike. You got us. I mean, it is what it is, right? All right, swing into this. You posted in the MTG general channel? All right. Yeah, that double strike is probably going to be the end of us. I'm still going to block it. Now sacrifice stuff. <laughs> yep. That was a good one. <laughs> yeah, for first strike. You got to think about that first strike. He sure did. Whoopsie daisy. Whoopsie daisy. No, oh, that was a great. That was a great start to me. Yep. 
Yeah, uh, Friction Obliterator is just such a, like an unfair card against certain decks. Oh, you've been playing the uh, the Dredge deck a lot uh, against it a lot with uh, with them glimpse glimpse the unthinkable themselves and forty seven creatures coming to play after that. Yeah, rest rest in peace is good against that. Uh, we go first. Um, all right. Again, this isn't necessarily what we want to be doing, but we're going to. Oh. I wonder if... I'm supposed to get rid of this. Or this. Let me read. What does Legion of Zen do? It's just exiles. Let's get rid. Of, let's get rid of that. I don't think I have to take the spell queller. I don't really think that's it's that big of a deal. Counters up to four, right? Yeah. Could counter that. And they play Selfless Spirit next turn. Yep. You got us. Oh. I want to get this online, though. Hexproof. Nope. What is the sword? First strike. Yeah, the serpent is great. And that's what? Reach? Um, no attacks. Go ahead and spell qual it. Yep, yep. Now I gotta watch out for a collected company here. Yep. Ooh, obliterator. Death touch, no attacks. <laughs> it's like, are you sure about that? Um, all right, so they all have hex proof. if this is correct give another one okay uh, no attacks you have another you just drew no you did not oh my god collect the company this person's name. Not a cop, by the way. Uh, okay. All right. Well, must be nice. Must be nice over there. What did I just get? Trample. No attacks. I mean, do we get to survive at all? I don't think they should have attacked over there. I'm 
We're still alive though, right? Yeah, okay. Okay. I really need to hit Vigilance, right? Is that the last thing? Or Life? Uh, life Link might be good. What do we get? Vigilance, lifelink, first strike. Let's go. I need hexproof now, right? What is your life over there, dude? Oh my gosh, you are. All right, past the blockers. Gonna block there, and I'm gonna block here. Yep, they're they're scooping. I don't know. They, they did they think they were gonna win there? Oh, the shame scoop. This shame. Oh, I could have removed. Oh, you're right. I could have removed hexproof with my freaking. Oh man, hundred percent. I forgot about that. Good call. Good call. But that was a good game though. Have you been uh, Valkron? Have you been playing any Diablo? Uh, we'll. Keep this. No, oh, you just like flat out uninstalled it. All right. Oh, what an amazing world we live in. Yeah, but they they glimpsed me. They didn't glimpse themselves. So, here comes the hideous laughter. No, just a maddening cacophony. Now I got a five five. How much mill do you have? Sure. Milling like a thousand cards here. Fifteen. How many cards do we have left? All right. Well, we're presenting lethal. Oh, we did it! Ah, yes. Two cards left. <laughs> two cards. Uh, two cards and a dream. Sometimes our dreams are greater than our opponents. I mean, our archive trap's not in arena, right? And even then, we never searched our library. So. Ooh, this is not a good hand. Do we believe in our draws, though? Believe in the heart of the cards. All 
All right. I believe Ozolith, bring us to victory. Beautiful. Um. <laughs> Nope. I'm not going to... I'm just going to play this for uh, one. Get in there! Got a chance. No! That could have been really bad had they not had that... Had they not had this bone shards in their hand and we had to hit one of these. That would have been really, really bad. So. Really bad. Yeah, I mean... Um, it sounds cool. It could be done either very, very correctly or very incorrectly, right? Uh, this is a hand. This is a hand. I guess we're okay that we. Uh, well. Yeah, not a huge fan of their hand at all. I'm going to slam this Phyrexian Scriptures immediately. But we have like an infinite blocking source right now, which I'm fine with. We've got a 3-3 Trampler. Oh, it's about, it's about to premiere? Okay. This sucks. Uh, phylactery Lich. I got the, got the counter. Okay. Heliod, I don't love that. No, I'm I'm okay there. Uh, this Esper Sentinel is gonna get really, really scary. It's an artifact, which sucks, um, because this d does not kill artifacts. Okay, please attack. That's indestructible. Hexproof, all right, Hexproof is good. First Strike is all right. No attacks. I can't attack in with the Obliterator until, <clears throat> until I draw another one. This might be just me dying in 14 turns. <laughs> Uh, 
Oh, uh, well, I guess it depends on these Mecha Godzillas, how they turn out. Menace? Death Touch, Menace. First Strike and Death Touch is really good. Oh, that was really good, too. I don't think I can pay 10 mana. I don't think I can pay 10 mana here. Okay, that feels a little bit better. But uh, what do they have in their hand here? Uh, you learn two things about Jimmy Buffett. Did I know he was worth a billion dollars? I did not know that he was worth a billion dollars. Do you just want to gain a lot of life? Like... You're not even a game like, like First Strike, Vigilance, Lifelink. Okay? First Strike, Death Touch. So these are going to just trade. Uh huh. Sure. going to is this incorrect somehow is that vigilance the, it, the only thing it doesn't have is vigilance just in case Oh, we shouldn't even have put the... Ch oh, I forgot that this gives lifelink. I forgot the Dreadhorde invasion gives lifelink when it attacks. That was, that was the wrong move. Okay. Uh-huh. Sure thing. Thoughtseize is pretty good here. All right, so I've learned my lesson. I've learned my lesson. We're going to move this here. Is that Vigilance yet? <laughs> it's the last, it's going to be the last thing. Attack. Um, attack. I mean, we're, I'm just, I'm just going for it, right? Like, this is just so much life. And then 
we're gonna get them with shadow spear right like yeah they're gonna block there because they can sack it oh they're just taking it good game don't salty rope me Fast effects, don't salty rope me, come on. All right, thank you. All the life. Who's the life gain deck now? Whew, that was a crazy game. We go first, all right, well, this is kind of what we wanna be doing. Um, I mean, I'm happy with this draw because we weren't really doing anything. Collected company is... God, this hand. This hand. God, it feels so bad to take that. I'm going to slam this down because I feel like they're going to Skyclave Apparition this because it'll be a zero. Yep. And then that gives us a uh, Phylactery Lich value. Oh, you, cl you cleared it? That's pretty sick. Um, Eric, Eric's been playing... Um, oh, are we dead here? Like, do I need to kill something? Does any of this... Oh, this gets counter... I need to kill this. Yeah, let's attack. Give me that zero. Yeah, I was watching that the one last night. I think it was. He had uh, all these like torches and stuff and indestructible counter. I don't even know. What's, I don't even know what's happening right now. Let's do this. You're an artifact now. Deal with it. Um, so this is indestructible. This is indestructible. No attacks. Are we dead? Like... I feel like we're dead. Like... No. Uh huh. Yep. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say, like, why did you play all that stuff out unless you were gonna win? Um, I was really. <sighs> all right. So how does this work again? Oh, so you have to put the counters on this. Oh, I thought it was a counter that goes on anything. So like, I thought they were gonna combo off with this thing. Okay, well. So I am actively right now trying to make myself easier to kidnap. Um, yeah, we're going to keep this. Beware the Ozolith. Or what version of Luris are you playing over here? Mono White. 
portable hole. Why would you? Why would you do that? How dare you? Well, let's see how busted your hand is. You have another portable hole too? Okay. Oh, I was looking for this card specifically. Like th this card specifically I was looking for. Um... They do that on this? I'm going to play this as a 1-1. One, one. Whoops. Portable hole, the stone coil serpent, right? As predicted. Hmm, this is actually a decent draw. a little awkward i kind of want to copy this like it's not going to be a creature when we copy it it's just going to be a land but i kind of want to copy it about to say there's no way that they take that or that there's no way that they block that that has lifelink Ooh, that's pretty brutal yeah lifelink is brutal i'm gonna draw it Six mana. What do we do with six mana? Attack. Play another ring. Do I care about their Luris? I do a little bit. Play this, copy. Wish we had one more land here. Yep. 
You have two mana to cast your casket. That's fine. draw first. Really? Okay. Oh, we got him. So many rings. Rings are so dumb. Uh, especially when you can just play them over and over and over again. Copy them. So, so dumb. Oh, that win felt really, really good. All right, everybody. Welcome back to the wrap-up. And again, we played a lot of sweet games, as you saw. This deck, um, I would say, had about a 60 to 65% win rate. Yeah, we... We did lose a bunch of games, but um, at the same time, we some of those games I'm not counting because we did kind of you know change some cards in the deck. So initially, this deck did not run Thought Seizes. It actually ran the Karn Liquid Metal Coating combo package, you know, where you could go in and start turning anything into an artifact. It actually lets us turn our lands into artifacts potentially, and then we could. Uh, phylactery lich put the counter on a land which actually it makes it hard to to get rid of unless you know our opponent's playing land destruction which i know if we were playing against ourselves we we might be a little worried but um yeah and then we decided to uh give give thought seize a chance and you know what it actually it was all right um i'm still not a huge fan of thought seize in this deck just because of the the fact that i really i ideally want to be going turn one ozolith Turn two, either Dreadhorn Invasion or Stone Coil Serpent for two, and then turn three, Phylactery Lich, or if we have to, if, um, Mecha Godzilla to start getting that that uh, random counter generation online. But overall, like like you saw, we saw some sweet games. That last game, um, you know, being able to just outlast our opponent just because of being able to you know do one ring shenanigans and Phyrexian Metamorph shenanigans was a lot of fun. But we did get. We did get good usage, I feel like, out of everything in our deck, except for, I would say, Phyrexian Scriptures. It wasn't really something that got highlighted a lot. And again, that could probably come out of the list. But going through all of the sets and everything that I missed over the last, you know, little over a year, year and a half, um, which I believe was nine sets, I really just didn't feel like there were a lot of cards that would really fit into this deck really well that I would, you know, that I'd want to put in here. And if you, if you feel differently, like if you feel like there's some cards in here that could have just fit better then I would say Phyrexian scriptures or even thought seizes or legions in, um, let me know. Uh, I did, I did, uh, again, think the Phyrexian metamorph was a lot of fun and I 100% would, uh, leave that in this deck. That's a really cool card in the sense that you don't have, have to actually play, um, any blue mana, right? Because you can just cast the um, Phyrexian Metamorph for three colorless and then you lose two life. And it's just a three mana clone and you get another five five in the form of either, either a Lich or a, a Obliterator. And yeah, now instead of, um, you know, one, one of those and they have to deal with two or three or four and it just gets out of hand, really. It just gives us a bunch of different options, right? But uh, again, we had a lot of fun playing this deck. I'm still always looking for ideas on what decks to play, um, what decks to revisit. 
And, and again, right, I am a little bit limited to what we're what we're building, right? Because I did miss a lot of cards. I, I you know, it's going to be super expensive for me to catch up. But uh, you know, I have to worry about my wild card usage. So we only have about eighteen or nineteen treasure chests to open. Um, but uh, but yeah, we're just going to keep trying and going to try to fill in some gaps and and see what we can do. But uh, again, if you enjoy the video, the gameplay, and everything. Please like, comment, subscribe. Check out all the cool links to below. Discord. Join uh, join the Twitch uh, stream. Uh, Twitch.tv slash BA Matumbo. Would love to see all of y'all there over the weekend. But with that being said, everyone, please stay safe. And we will see you all next time.